I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakal Hakwadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Okay, also sincere shalom to the uh, hopefully elect that's laboring. Okay, and um, I want to do a controversial video. Um, if it can help. Uh, I do I do a video like this is um, all videos are to edifying and building up. So if it can help other brothers going through the same situation, or to help um, other camps, maybe in other states, go through the same situation that's going through the same situation, then maybe you could take heed, get into the scriptures, pray, uh, get understanding of the scriptures. Number one, uh, and first off, um, I'm going to get a scripture. They kind of sum up this whole thing in confusion. Okay. Um, but before that, um, again, I'm just going with the spirit. Uh, this is addressing the situation here in Baltimore uh, where we have um, guys that broke off from our camp. And, hey, man, the scripture says they, if they can't do nothing against the truth but for the truth uh, as long as they're still teaching the truth. Okay. And we had guys that broke off from our camp um, a little while back, and they kind of did their own thing. Okay. Uh, now the reason why uh, it's a whole lot to go into, but I'm just thought you know got to follow me. Um, there's a thin line between right and wrong, so to speak. Okay. And you can cross the line to wrong. Okay. And then you can stay on the right side, so to speak. So what we have here is a situation where um, the one uh, guy that left our camp, okay, we'll say technically is a brother um, who left our camp. He's still pushing the work. He's still doing the same thing. The other guy never was in our camp. He just, you know, woke up and decided to do the work on his own, which, okay, that's fine. If that's what you want to do, again, you're not doing nothing against the truth but for the truth. But in a sense, you're kind of coming against the truth if you're not doing it in proper order. Okay, let all things be done decently and in order. That's not for the truth. Okay, now again, uh, let me get a scripture first. Uh, Matthew 18 and 15. It says, Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go tell him his fault between thee and him alone. If he shall not hear thee, thou shalt gain thy brother. Now, again, I wasn't a witness. Okay. Uh, let's go on to Matthew 18 and 16, the next verse. But if thou wilt not hear, then take uh, take with thee one or two more, and uh, that in the uh, mouth of two or three witnesses, and every word may be established. Okay? So here's the conflicting part where I'm looking at from the outside, because I'm not there. I'm, I'm the uh, camp head in Baltimore. But I'm not there, so I don't understand what's going on. And all I'm saying is, uh, if you, again, Baltimore has a different type of spirit of people, okay, in case brothers don't know, okay, and guys are a little more stiff-necked, okay. Um, now, when you go to First Timothy, and I'm reading these scriptures quick so I can make my point, it says, um, First Timothy 5 and 20, then that sin rebuke before all that others also may fear. So now you got to go to where you draw the line. Okay, I told the brother. He didn't listen. He comes to the Passover and he just walks on out of the Passover. Uh, what I, you know, and I'm sure there was witnesses there. So, well, come on, man. You know, I, I, I would have to understand that before that even happened, there had to be some problems going on in general. Okay, but I, I heard the whole video and um, again, I, I think the guy that did the video, he was in the he had the right idea, okay, through the spirit to say, hey, y'all got to watch this guy, such and such and such. But he says also that, hey, man, you know, if you don't come to me, then I'm going to expose everything. You know, and that's really not the way to do it on that note. But on the other note, 
brothers have to have guidance, okay? We all are in this fight together. And there should be not, we shouldn't be really fighting one another. And when you got the so-called white man, and, it, and you know, it's going to happen. There's no perfect camp. There's no, uh, you're going to have grimy niggas in GMS, man. Okay, now again, um, you know, I've heard guys say that uh, they're not in it for men. Okay, and that's understandable. You're in it for Yahabah Shem Um I don't, yeah, I don't have to say didn't say the name GMS. Okay, if you don't want to say the name GMS, but at the end of the day, we say GMS because of what the doctrine. You're giving double honors. Remember, there's a lot of guys who said double honors and were still wicked niggas. Okay, so when you say double honors, mean double honors. Number one, number two, when you're saying the uh, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, what you're doing is putting that banner out there to say, hey. Uh, this is the doctrine that you learn from. Remember, you're trying to seek your own salvation, and anybody who thinks they're out here for the apostles to literally save them is off. Okay? Let's get that straight. So guys got to stop getting in this thing as some form of social media fan base club. And I see this. Okay? This is not what it's about, man. It's about coming out here doing the work for Yahweh Shem Yahweh But the way you're going to get the message is through men. Through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. These men are delivering you the message. So if you're in Great Millstone and you're getting the message delivered to you, you supposed to give double honors and reference these men who have taught you. That's how you got the name Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Through these men. Yahweh Shah, let me say that, did not beam down here and give you that name. He did not give it to you even in your sleep. Okay? Which he could have done. But the Lord is what? Not an author of confusion. Okay? Um, let's go to um, 1 Corinthians uh, 14. I'll go to 30. If anything be revealed to another that sitteth by, let the first hold this peace, for ye may also prophesy one by one, that all may learn, and all may be comforted. And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. For Yahweh is not an author of confusion, but of peace, as in the churches of all the saints. Okay? So a lot of times when you see something happen with a guy, and you, you kind of, you know, it's kind of not right. Let me sit, and let me see, and wait, and see what's going to happen with this guy. Because a lot of this is wisdom. Okay? There's a form of wisdom and understanding when it comes to this. Okay? This is why you would have a camp leader. A camp leader would be able to lay all this out for you and let you know what's going on if, if he's right anyway uh, he'll lay it all out for you and say what you should do or shouldn't do I think the problem for number number four or five whatever you know the number is that I've been calling the fifth thing <laughs> is that the fact that uh, fourth or fifth thing is the fact that there's a lot of camps here in Baltimore man I mean you got different, different camps okay and the best thing to do if you're um, in a camp and, and these, these guys are younger brothers at that, you got to know if the Lord set up an order, Yahabah Shem Yahushua set up an order for brothers uh, to learn. Now, again, nobody says you exactly have to be in a camp, but you should still reference the camp in your area, okay? You should still be, because it's about brotherly love. You know, at the end of the day, that's what it's about. You should be uh, getting in touch with the, 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 you know, the camp or whatever the case is. Uh, try to get with the camp. It's the best thing. Because now you're dealing with an order. And now you're dealing with other brothers that may be able to step in and help. You're dealing with brothers that have a little more wisdom, uh, knowledge, and understanding of the situations that you're going through. Because other than that, you're lost. You know, specifically. Now, again, this guy, and again, I'm not saying any names, and I'm not, I didn't show the picture of this guy, but I know them. And, in, and the other guy said, um, uh, the uh, brother Bible teacher, uh, which all the brothers know of him, he left a comment and said, hey, man, you should have went up under your elders and then dealt with it that way. But the problem is, um, the, the brother here, and I'll still say he's a brother, the brother here is uh, doing the work, but um, they have nobody to come up under to get proper guidance okay and it's not an attack on 
again, I don't know the other guy. You know, maybe they need to work it out um, and figure out what's going on. Don't be so quick to the trigger. Okay? But this is what order is all about. Okay? And we got to understand that there's going to be grimy niggas in GMS too. Grimy, uh, knuckles, uh, nail biting, grabbing, scratching niggas too. Okay? <laughs> I didn't mean to add all that extra to it. But that's what it, you know, you're going to have that. Okay? And really, to be honest, if you a nigga, stay out of, stay out of our way. Okay? Uh, stay out of our way, man. You know, because we really don't need that trouble. But if you're willing to be a brother, and I spoke with the other brother, Nick, in their camp. That brother seems sincere. He seems humble. You know? Um, you know, my whole point of this video, man, is... Uh, uh, get some order, man. If it's not of, if it's not order, it's not of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh You got to know that. First Corinthians fourteen and forty. Let all things be done decently, and in order. Okay. Uh, now, when you go to the word confused, uh, because I, was, I passed over that scripture earlier, confused because this is it's, this Lord is not an author of confusion. Okay. Uh, and that's what it is. A lot of uh, and, it, and uh, confused means being disordered or mixed up, a contradictory, and often confused story. So we know the so-called white man is nothing but confused. But he set up a form of order even in his confused society. Believe it or not. Okay. Now the so-called white man can set up some form of order. You got to know if we in the truth uh, in representing righteousness. That we could damn sure set up some form of order, man. And that's what this is all about, man. Order. If you don't have order, you're going to have disorder. And out of disorder, you're going to have chaos. And from there, you're just going to, it's going to be turmoil, man. Okay? So, you, you know, there's different levels. Uh, there's thin lines. There's different levels of understanding. But honestly, my the whole point of this video is if... These brothers, man, came up under some form of order. And I know some of the brothers might say, hey, hey brothers, look, man, at the end of the day, uh, these guys are out still doing the work week in and week out, okay? Doesn't make you a brother, obviously, but I've known a couple of them. If you get yourself in order, come under an order, and get, you know what I'm saying? It'll make things a whole lot easier. Uh, you know, what else can I say besides that, man? It's all about the order, man. If you don't have the order, it ain't going to work. That's my take on that, Shallow.